Hey guys, it's your girl Jasmine and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. 27 hearts beat! So today, as you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing another work experience story time video. And clearly as you can see by the title and by this name tag that I'm wearing here, I did work at Applebee's. Now, I was a host at Applebee's and I worked there for, well you're just gonna have to see whenever I get to that in the story. I might have already put it in the thumbnail so you might already know, but I don't know that yet so stay tuned so you can see how long I worked there. I worked at Applebee's either the summer of 2016 or the summer of 2017. I can't remember exactly which summer it was, but it was in the summertime of one of those years. So pretty much I was working at Panera and I honestly wasn't really looking for a second job, but I remember one of my friends that I worked with, she got a position at Applebee's and it was right down the street from where the Panera was and she was like, I got a second job and they're still hiring. So she got hired to be a server and I was like, oh, okay, cool. That sounds awesome. So she was like, the guy is really nice, the manager, so he, she was like, just come down for an interview who will literally just kind of talk to you and see what you'll want to do. And I was like, cool, I knew it was probably going to be either minimum wage or like really low pay. So I was like, you know what, it's just kind of a side job, let's just go for it. So it was actually me and my best friend who also worked at Panera at the time. We both went with our other friend to Applebee's so we could talk to the manager there. So we go in, it was all, I mean, normal. It looked like a restaurant. We went in the middle of the day on a weekday, so it was pretty slow in there. And we sat down and we talked to the manager. He was super nice. Like, he was so nice. And he just kind of talked to us. It didn't really feel like it was an interview, because I mean, it really wasn't like a strict interview type thing. It was literally just a, we came in to kind of chat, but we had never met this man before. So we were talking to him and it seemed pretty cool. The place seemed pretty chill. He said they weren't really hiring for, for servers, they were hiring for hostesses. He said they really needed hostesses. He said they basically had none. Me and my best friend were like, okay, I guess we'll just take it. I kind of really wanted to be a server just because I was like, you get, real, you get tips being a server and a hostess, you don't, but... At least at that Applebee's, I'm not sure at other places if the hostesses are get part of the tips or anything like that. But at the Applebee's I was at, you did not get any tips. So I was like, it's fine. And I think we were only getting $8, nothing crazy. It was less than I was making at Panera at the time. But like I said, Panera was the main job and he knew that. We told him, Panera is our main job. We kind of just have this for the side, like if you need us, you know, at nights that we're not working and things like that. He was very, very understanding. Like up front, we were like, can we just tell you in advance like what our schedule is at Panera? Because we're obviously going to let them make our schedule first. And then you can kind of give us days that you need us from there. He was like, yeah, that's perfect. We just really need hostesses. We were like, cool. So me and my best friend, we accepted this position. We were like, okay, when do we start? I think it was that next coming week he wanted us to come in. And I was like, all right, that sounds great. I'd only heard good things from my friend who had just gotten a job there. She was like, they're really nice here and everything. So we were like, all right, we already had a pretty good experience with the one manager. So we were ready for it. The day comes where it's our first day and me and my best friend, we both started on the exact same day. However, we did start an hour apart because I think I got off before she did at Panera. So I think she went in at like four and I went in at five. Cause I think I got off at Panera at four. So, you know, I had time to eat and everything. And then I went in to Applebee's at five o'clock. So she had been there for an hour by the time I got there. So I get there at five o'clock and I think I walked in the back entrance and I was greeted by whoever was in the to-go station in the back. I told them I'm new. I didn't really know what to do. Didn't know how to clock in, anything like that. So she walks me to the office where the guy who interviewed me was and he got me a card, which I actually still have along with my name tag. And this is like the little swipe card. It says Applebee's on it. And this is basically what you use for everything. You use this to clock in and clock out. If I was a server, you would use this. Like, you know, you see the people in the restaurants that swipe the card so they can put in the order and everything. 
it would have been the same thing. But I pretty much just used this to clock in and out because that's all I needed to do on it. But at that point, I was still with another girl who worked there. She was the one who showed me how to clock in and out. And the manager who had given me everything, who I had talked to before, was up at the front at the hostess stand with my best friend. The girl who was helping me walked me up to the hostess desk because obviously I clocked in at that point and now it's time to work. So I go up to the hostess stand and the manager is talking to my best friend then I walk up and he you know does the regular greeting how are you are you ready for your first day everything like that I say I am and I'm excited and everything so he kind of looks at me I look at him and he says to me I don't know if it's like word for word but this is basically what he said to me all right so here is two papers this is the layout of the restaurant this is the list of service for the night I've already shown your best friend what to do and I have some work to do, so I gotta go. And I was just like, uh, okay, all right, cool. So he walks away, and then I look over at my best friend, and she's kind of making that, like, big eyes face, like, what? So we are looking at each other, and I ask her, I'm like, do you know what to do? She was like, um, not really. I'm like, so you're my trainer after only being here for an hour, and it's both our first days. She was like, I mean, I guess. And so we kind of both kind of laughed a little bit. It was still slow, so we didn't really have to worry about that, but she showed me the paper, and basically one of the papers had the layout of the restaurant, which I actually kindly drew for you guys, which I will show you in a second. And then the other sheet had a list of all the servers for the night. So basically what we're supposed to do is take servers' spots in the restaurant and the names and go in order. So when a person walked in, you seat them, at this name and then you see it at this name and then this name and then this name and then this name it wasn't techie at all it literally was just paper and a pen that i had to mark check marks on not sure if that's how it is everywhere but it didn't seem very organized at all but that's how it is that's how it went so i want to show you the layout of the restaurant so basically down here at the bottom i hope you can see this this is the front door so this is the front door and this is the waiting area so where the customers would wait if there was no seats available this was the kitchen this was the back door that you normally come in and then this was the to-go station over here pretty much this was the bar and this was the hostess stand so you could see when you walk in the door everything here except for the kitchen because there was a wall here and there was like a little door but you could see all the tables if they were empty or if they were full so it's a very flat layout in there there wasn't really any walls or anything like that so pretty much there was booths all along the wall over here and booths all along the inside close to the bar and then at the top there was tables on this side and then over here there was the high tables at the bar and obviously there was seating around the bar but i didn't put that on there and then over here there was big tables and i put right here it says for big parties so basically this was where all like the long tables were like if you had like a birthday party came in or graduation or just a family with a lot of people this is where you would sit them so basically the way it was set up for the servers was one server got this section over here one obviously the person who was at the bar got these tables here and then these were all split up this whole section because there was a bunch of booths and tables here so it might have been people get this section someone gets this section someone has this section and someone has a section over here so it was a lot of servers in this area so keep this in mind as i'm talking about the rest of the story so since you could see everything it was pretty much a disadvantage for the host basically me and my best friend because most of the time people want to sit at a booth and if they had that option that's where they want to sit and pretty much the only thing the one manager said to us was that if a person wants to be seated in a certain spot basically just let them that was like our only rule pretty much that's what ended up happening a lot of times people would come in we would go down our list of names and we would, we would try to follow it because we don't want the servers to get mad at us because they don't have anyone seated in their section but we would get down to the server who only had the big table section it would be like a single person come in or a couple come in and we would be like we would try to sit them over there because obviously that was who was next and they'd be like oh as we're walking that way oh can we get a booth and we can't tell them no because clearly they see that there are so many booths open and that was the disadvantage so that would cause problems because the server who only had the big table section would get mad at us because they would be like why aren't you sitting there with anyone and we would be like well they want to sit in a booth and we were told that if there's booths open to sit them in the booth simple as that right now i'm not sure if this is correct i don't know anything else about the restaurant world only other place i worked was panera at the time so i had no idea about any of this i didn't really know how it worked that was what the manager said and that was what me and my best friend did like we literally had no idea 
she trained me after being there for an hour and we had no idea what to do. And this was ongoing for the entire time that I worked there. They were just getting mad at us because either a server would get mad at us because they only had the big table section and no one was getting sat there or servers would get mad at us because they would have like the booth section and we would seat people in every single booth and they'd be like, you're overwhelming me. There's too many people. And I'm like, well, where else do I sit then? That was very frustrating. And we tried to talk to the manager about it because we were like, well, what do we do? Because they're really getting mad at us. So he was like, well, you know, just trying to like sway them to sit at the tables. If you have to kind of tell them no, but like, you know, but if they really want to sit at the booths, sit in the booths. And I'm like, all right, that doesn't help at all. That's literally what we've been doing. So I'm like, all right, at this point, we're just going to have to be okay with these servers getting mad at us. It is what it is. Everything was going pretty good for about a week. We had both been going, you know, after work. Things were going smoothly. He was putting us on the schedule whenever we weren't at Panera. This is where the hiccups came. There was one night, probably the worst night me and my best friend had ever worked there. I don't know if it was a Saturday night or Friday night. I can't remember, but it was one of those days because you know, those days were the busiest for restaurants. And Applebee's was open, I believe until 12 or 1 a.m. So we would get pretty busy. There was so many servers who called out. Like when I say like, there was so many, like there was a, there was one server in the big table section and then like half of the booth section didn't have server for that section. So that means you can't see anybody there because they won't get served because there won't be anyone to help them. So since it was so busy, there was no one that could come in. Me and my best friend did not know how to serve. Like we were not trained on that. People were coming in constantly, constantly. And me and my best friend were just sitting them. You know, we were doing our job. We were sitting them, getting the menus and silverware and everything like that. We were doing what we were supposed to be doing. So we thought. So the manager comes out and he was like, all right, you need to stop sitting people because the kitchen is backed up because apparently kitchen staff had also called out. So the kitchen was really backed up and there wasn't enough servers for the people we sat at booths. So the servers were overwhelmed. So he was like, you need to start telling people there was a 45 minute to an hour wait to be sat. And we were like, okay, like, we thought that was just cool. So we started telling people that when they came in. Some people would just be like, oh, okay, and then they would leave. And then there came the people who came in, we told them it was a 45 minute to an hour wait, and they looked at us, and they looked around, because as I said, it's flat, so you could see that there was open booths and open tables. They'd be like, but why can't I go sit over there? And why can't I go sit over there? There's, there's seats open, there's tables open, why can't I sit down? Why is it 45 minutes to an hour? And we explained to them very calmly, me and my best friend never got angry with anyone. We explained very calmly. It is because there is a lack of service tonight, we are short staffed, and the kitchen is also short staffed. So if we are to sit you, it's going to be about that same amount of time before someone can even get to you because they are so swamped with everyone else who's in there. People didn't really understand that. And at that point, I was getting irritated just because I'm like, why can't you understand the fact that if you go sit down at a table right now, you're not gonna get served for the same amount of time as if you sit up here in the waiting area because that's what's gonna happen. Because then they're gonna get seated and they're gonna get mad, which is actually what happened. Because there was a there was a family of like four people and they were like, well, we're just gonna go sit down at that booth. And at that point, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing me and my best friend can do because we're like, all right, well, you do you go sit down but you're not gonna get served we gave them menus because they were like can we have menus so i gave them the menus and they went and sat down at a booth and i was like whatever after probably like 15 minutes they'll come up to us and they're like are we not even gonna get someone to come over for our drinks or we're not gonna get served at all i was like again we are very short staffed it is still going to take that same amount of time for anyone to be able to come over and serve you and they were like they had attitudes and there was several families like this and i was like wow people are nasty and like i knew people were nasty in food service from panera but people are nasty in the restaurant business i give anyone props who's a server or works at a host or anything like that in the restaurant business because if you have to deal with what i had to deal with that night that's crazy. I don't understand how people can't understand that. It doesn't go through their minds properly or something because I literally told them, you're going to have to wait regardless of if you sit at a table or if you sit up here in the waiting area. You're gonna have to wait. You're not gonna get drinks. You're not gonna get anything because there's no one to continue your service because that's the whole point of having a server is so they can continually check on you throughout your time there. So that night was literally atrocious, the entire night. People were waiting, people were getting mad because they had to wait for so long and then other people tried to sit down. There was rude, nasty people. And I'm just like, wow, if you hear there's a 45 minutes to an hour wait, don't question me. 
don't question why I'm sitting you in 45 minutes to an hour. But basically that's how the entire night went. It was awful. And I swear, like, there was so many times I just wanted to, ooh, 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 everybody. Like, but I couldn't. I kept myself composed. I kept myself together. So I didn't go to jail, let alone lose the job that I didn't even really care about. But go to jail. So I didn't want to go to jail. That was the main thing. And I did it. I kept myself together and I was good. But I commend all of you hosts and hostesses out there that can do that job and have to experience stuff like that because that shit is ridiculous. I swear. Never again for me. That night kind of made me my best friend like, yeah, I don't know if I want to do this because the manager at that point kind of started to feel like he didn't really care. It seemed very unorganized. I was like, all right, is there like a system in place or anything when this type of stuff happens? And he was like, no, we kind of just roll with it. And if that's how it actually is, cool. But I, me and my best friend were kind of over it. We were like, for eight dollars, like, I don't know about this. We kept going for a couple days and literally we both just kind of were over it. I know I'm probably gonna get the comments of wow you just can't keep a job or da 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 this and that like why didn't you stick it out all this stuff. Now I may have only worked there for two weeks but by the end of the day I probably would have only been able to work there for at least three months because the place got shut down. Point blank period. The place got shut down. Literally me and my best friend were driving by that way one day. We were like, oh wow, the Applebee's is gone. We don't know why it got shut down, but it got shut down. It wasn't, you know, don't come at me about, oh, you could have kept the job and you can't keep a job and da 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 this and that. Yes, I can't keep a job if I want to keep a job. And I still worked at Panera at the time, so it really wasn't a big deal. I literally only got one paycheck from them for two weeks and I literally only made like a hundred bucks. It was literally like a hundred and like twenty dollars to go through all of that stress. It was not worth it for that low pay. And I remember whenever we were trying to quit, the manager was like, well, what if I bump y'all up to $8.50? Will y'all stay? We really need you. And we were both kind of like, yeah, no. The manager did understand. We both were kind of like, yeah, no. Like we're gonna, that's still not enough for us. Like we're gonna go. Um, he was very sweet about it. He was very nice. I mean, he, he, he told both of us, if you ever wanna come back, you know, don't hesitate to come back in and, you can come back. Obviously that wouldn't have worked out because like I said, they got shut down, but it is what it is. This is like one of the only stories I have where like the manager wasn't an issue. Yes, they were disorganized, but I think they were all kind of disorganized and the manager was so sweet. Like he was super nice. If the place would have been better, better pay, more organized, then I might have stayed because he was very, very nice. He was one of the nicest like managers I've had, even though I only had him as a manager for two weeks. If you work at an Applebee's, let me know in the comments down below if it's like this at your Applebee's because it's on. it was honestly hectic. I hope you guys enjoyed this work story time experience. I know it wasn't the craziest one or anything like that. Only worked there for two weeks. But if you liked it, give it a big ol' thumbs up and comment down below if you like these videos, if you wanna see more because I've definitely worked at other places and I can definitely give you some more stories just so you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel right down below and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. Follow my social media, it'll be on the screen and the description bar down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!